Obviously, since you understood what I said, today we are doing the quarantine savior itself, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been trapped in quarantine and this game is one of the only things that's been saving me and bringing me through. It is a life simulator full of anthropomorphic animals and gardening and shaking trees and maybe some weird dark undertones and I am here for it. My favorite character in this game is one of my current residents. Her name is Peanut. She's a very fabulous pink squirrel. So today I'm going to do a look inspired by Peanut that's going to be Peanut but make it glam. So before I jump into this look, I get a lot of questions about skincare. I am obsessed with a company called Drunk Elephant. They are my skincare saviors. They sent me some product that I wanna show you. All you do is just squeeze and it comes out on the top, but then the best part is you put your other products on the top here and you mix it up. Look at that. Now that I've got my skincare down, I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on. Today I'm gonna to try this True Match Lumi. It's not quite the right color for my skin tone, but it doesn't really matter. Animal Crossing New Horizons is on the Switch, Nintendo Switch right now, and it is just like everything that you could possibly need in a quarantine situation. You get dropped into this desert island. It's owned by this mysterious millionaire raccoon. His name is Tom Nook. He's just like, hey, you're here, and you're just gonna like build this island with me. It makes it feel like you're living life when you're really trapped inside of your New York apartment. So I'm gonna take my Ben Nye palette. So when you first start on the island, you have uh, a couple of residents, including yourself. My residents were Buck, who's a whore, and he's like a southern horse that calls you like partner. I love him so much. I kind of feel like we have like this romance going on because he's like constantly giving me gifts and stuff and I'm like, Buck, stop, but I love it. So I've got the color that I'm looking for, I think, and now I'm just gonna go in here with my hip dot sponge and I'm going to start applying it. So the thing that I really love about Animal Crossing, it's not a game that you like win. It's literally like you're just like living your life on this island. You have to like catch bugs and you have to catch fish and stuff because there's a museum run by this owl named Blathers. I sound like I'm high right now. I'm like in a closet being like, okay, the owl that runs the museum, his name is Blathers and I have to catch bugs for him, but I can't find a spider because the spiders only come out between a certain time of day. And every time I go out there, I can't find it. So I'm shaking trees trying to find this spider so I can give it to Blathers because I want to donate it to the museum for the residents of my island. But that's the game. So this game is made by Nintendo. It has a lot of Japanese values in it. Uh, one of the values that it's like really putting front and center is this value called pastoralism, where it's like valuing like the countryside and like living off the land and building your own world for yourself. But at the same time, there's this like very strong element of capitalism. For example, in order to build your house, you have to take out a loan from Tom Nook and then you have to do a bunch of tasks to get the money to pay it back. Obviously, super capitalist. Ooh, look at this color. So now that I've got my base on, I want to add in some contouring. I'm going to grab the Hip Dot SpongeBob palette and I'm going to go in with this color Advanced Darkness, also known as day 45 of this quarantine. <laughs> now that I've got some darker shapes in here, I wanna add some highlights. I'm going to grab Essence Pure Nude Space Lighter. So I added that, you can kind of see that like spacey highlight. I wanna add just like a little more brightness to it. So I've got the Hip Dot palette in Cenote and I'm gonna go in with this color Rain. That's what I want. Look at that highlight. Yes! All right, so now I'm gonna start doing my brows. So I'm gonna take this Kat Von D Super Brow in Roxy Purple. I'm trying to work. I wanna talk specifically about why I love Peanut so much. She wants to be a model. 
which I support because she's a pink squirrel, so there's definitely a hole in the market for that. And she adds the word le before things, so she's like, that is le fabulous. And I'm like, no, you're le fabulous, you little squirrel. She's just so cute. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is a dramatic eye. I know, you guys, I always use the same things. I just have my faves, so I'm gonna use the Kesha for the Wind palette because I use it every time. And I'm gonna use the color Tenoit because it is such a great, sparkly like black. So there are some things in Animal Crossing that I would love to do in real life. I mean, I love being a homeowner. I'm not a homeowner right now because I'm a millennial and everything is trash. My generation, we can't afford homes. So we play Nintendo games and literally the whole point of the game is to have a house because that is just as much of a fantasy for us as like Zelda. So I'm just trying to smoke this out. Um, I'm going to go into the color Woman. Maybe this will be my new like everyday look. I'm gonna pop in my eye, this House Laboratories in Chain Ballerina because I love how dark and pigmented it is. I use this one all the time. I'm actually gonna take some of this and bring it from the edge. I also wanna add a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to take the Hip Dot Palette in Crystals. Look at that, it's so good. I'm gonna use my pinky and I'm gonna go into this other like purpley color because Pina is like fashion. She's got like cute little whites in her eyes. So I'm going to go in with my tried and true Sulu Hydro Liner in Space Panda. So I've got these whites. I'm gonna add in some mascara. She's got this like triangle, like a widow's peak almost. So I'm going to use some more of this Ben Nye grease paint. A widow's peak is like when your hairline comes to like a point. She has a very dramatic widow's peak. This look is starting to look less like a squirrel and more like Sailor Moon. Oh, we're getting it all up into my hair, aren't we? Oh well. So I have the color tracksuit from Suva in a hydro liner that is the perfect blue. You know what I should have done? So you like shake trees, right? And you're shaking the trees to like get supplies. Like sometimes you can find bells in there. You can find sticks and leaves and things, but sometimes when you shake a tree, a wasp nest falls out and the wasps chase you. If you don't catch them or run away fast enough, they sting you and one of your eyes gets swollen shut. I should have done that for this look. There's these two little raccoons that look just like Tom Nook, except for they're like little versions of them, of him. Their names are Timmy and Tommy. One of them always says what they need to say, but then the other one just like kind of like echoes him in the background. So it'll be like, hi, welcome to the store. And then in the background it's like, oh, so. it's like something's going on there. I feel like maybe they're like clones of Tom Nook and he like is like genetically testing on them. And so that's made it so they, they don't have personalities of their own. Maybe like the, uh, the one that echoes is like version one and like version two is the one that talks more and he just like is an improvement. So he can like lead the conversation and then the other one just like mimics it. I'm telling you, there are some dark undertones to Animal Crossing. Do, 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 do. The last step is to do a stunning lip. I'm gonna go in to Tried and True, the For the Win Kesha Rose palette. I'm gonna overdraw my lip just a little bit. If I had to build my own Animal Crossing, one thing that I would definitely change is I would add more makeup options because everyone is sporting a really natural look, which that works for some of us, but for others, we appreciate a little bit more of a beat, which I get it. We're trying to populate this island. It's not a drag show, but every day is a drag show with me. Oose, 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 oose. Animal Crossing is like The Sims had a baby with Pokemon. You can really do whatever you want. People are like building these like five star island resorts where they've like perfected Animal Crossing and they're just like showing off how good they are at it and you can find like videos. Don't watch it until you finish this one. I don't look like this squirrel at all, but I love it. I feel like she's got more of like a dramatic lash. So I'm going to go in with my hydro liner in grease and I'm going to just give myself a dramatic lash line. I think it's hilarious that obviously Animal Crossing is a game for children, but we as a generation have embraced it 
wholeheartedly. It's all anybody is talking about. And I think that that says a lot. I had never played it before. This is my first foray. Foray? Yes, foray into the Animal Crossing world. And I am hooked. I recommend it y'all, especially if you're still in quarantine while you're watching this because it is the release that I crave and need. Overall, I feel like Animal Crossing is this utopia that we are all creating by working together. And it's just like overall good vibes. And I think once we are all out of this quarantine that we could really bring some of these values into the real world. So I think Animal Crossing for President 2020. This is my final look, by the way. I think Peanut would be le obsessed with it. My name is Bri Crash, and this has been Crash Course. Thank you so much for joining. If there is a pop cultural moment that you want me to do a look inspired by, don't forget to write it down in the comments, and of course, like and subscribe. And until next time,